all, uh, this does not be the um, close presentation. Actually, it's not a presentation. It's just we. I just report to you, which is um, uh, our experience, but using uh, this kind of uh, technology. And I would like to know which is your experience. Uh, have ever used any software from the back of the data production and which um, problem you would take in the, in the past of this, uh, this kind of technology. I'm Francesco Stompano and I'm part of a small group of people um, work on, working on uh, um, WebJS technologies for a United Nations organization called the, the World Food Program. The main theme of the food problem is um, fighting hunger worldwide by delivering food. To deliver food, what we need is to know where we should deliver food and how to reach the, that location. The Darufti structure um, of offices is composed by um, regional rules, uh, several country offices, and field offices. And um, most of the country offices on a um, daily basis um, perform um, logistic uh, assessment to know which is the status of the various um, uh, logistics like bridges, ports, airports, uh, railways, on, or uh, roads. And uh, uh, at the moment, um, what we do is to uh, collect this information in uh, Excel sheet. And, um, and then uh, it, it, this needs a lot of effort then to report uh, this information in uh, all our uh, system. Um, so uh, what we are trying to do is to try um, to um, find uh, a solution uh, to collect this kind uh, of information in a digital way by using uh, mobile devices. Uh, we've spent uh, some time um, testing uh, some solutions for mobile data collection. After, uh, after uh, trying the solution, we um, figured out that what are uh, our needs. The, the best solution at the moment uh, is um, um, Solution called uh, Open Data Kit. Open Data Kit is, um, is mainly uh, an open source uh, project that is composed uh, by um, three um, main entities. One is a um, mobile application that allows you to collect information. Then another entity is a um, form builder. Um, open, open Data Kit provides um, a web page that allows you to, um, to create uh, a, a form and then uh, download this form uh, in an XML uh, format and upload it on your own uh, server. The server is the uh, third part um, provided by Open Data Kit because um, they, they provide an installer that allows you to have a, a web server uh, application you just need a talk uh, distance uh, to deploy the wire. I just um, show you the form builder provided by Open Data Kit. Mainly in the down part of this page, you, you can see uh, several type of fields. What you have to do is just drag and drop this field in the, uh, in the main page and in order to, to create your form. Um, what you can attach to the form uh, location, location that they, uh, then you can uh, um, get from the GPS of your mobile phone, and also um, Called media. 
in this field you are able to collect images, video, and video. So, uh, what we are doing uh, at the moment is piloting this, uh, this software in, uh, in the field, in a um, country office in Juba. To uh, the colleague that is working there for some, some months. So, um, here you can <coughs> see in the, in the page, this is the um, home page of the web application that you um, deploy on your own server. So, it has three main sections. One that um, allows you to visualize uh, the data that you get uh, from the mobile application. One is to manage the form. Once you have built your form to the ODK uh, form builder, you can download the XML file and you just have to upload it to <coughs> this web page. And then the third tab drives you to a um, page where you can uh, manage uh, the user and permission associated to those users. What you see here is the, um, here you have a drop down list with several forms we are using at the moment. I'll show you just the, um, this, this form because it is the one that is actually used um, in Juba by a, uh, a colleague I already mentioned. Um, you see um, around 10 uh, entries sent by the um, mobile application. Uh, from Juba, you are able to uh, export this data in uh, CSV, KML, and JSON, uh, JSON format. But you are also uh, able to uh, directly visualize the, this information on the map. What you see here is the United Nations Workflow Program um, compound in, uh, in Juba. And our colleague took um, the, this point of it. Stop clicking in, uh, on uh, one of these points, you get a pop up with uh, the information we, um, we believe was necessary. And, the form and one uh, of the field is about the, the picture that you took with the, the mobile. So, uh, um, what is this situation at the moment? Mainly, we are um, testing this application, and the main problem we are uh, we face at the moment is that this, this application works only with the uh, Android phones. And most of our colleagues uh, in the field does have a mobile phone. So what we have to do uh, is to provide them uh, mobile phones. So what uh, the best for us would, would be to have a version of this software working on um, Blackberries, that is the official um, um, mobile technology uh, within the organization, and with the um, iPhone uh, as well or uh, find another solution that give us the same uh, future um, and is able to work with uh, this kind of platform. So, um, what I would like to know at this point is which is your um, experience in this topic and how can you help us? Thank you for the diagnosis. I see. And uh, um, when we deployed to Rita, we had to buy mobile phones. Uh, we bought 50 Android, you know, the little IDFs devices for about $70 a piece. And as a cost, I suppose, for the <coughs> of the World Bank, that's, that's a manageable cost and as a, it's a line item. But again, you know, it's not ideal. And, and that was one of the reasons for using uh, to Rita, because it's HTML5. So, what is now? It's HTML5. 
HDMI uh, So you can run it on anything from an iPhone down to um, a normal phone. Yeah. Well, something like a, a Series 40 Symbian that has a web browser. Yeah. That's fine for employees. I suppose for your situation that would be really good. Uh, but also you've got something like Machini, which works, doesn't necessarily have the, the tracking and the triage system in it. Um, and there are other, system, you know, other solutions from free to a lot of things, as I'm sure you know. Um, but using something that I think HTML5 is the way for to go, regardless of the platform. Yeah, the, the point of it is um, solution is that we didn't spend a lot of effort to implement it. We already have everything. In um, Alpha, Alpha Day, I deployed the um, application on our own server, just using the standard. You download the mobile application and you have everything. So, and with HTML5, first we have to do that. Well, no, with HTML5, it's one of those questions. There's no dependencies. Yeah, but if you have to build a mobile application, not uh, if you use. The, no, there are. I mean, there are applications out there which are HTML5. Um, so the. It's able to connect. Because uh, please use um, as XPath. So, uh, I'm trying not to be beholden to a specific type of technology, uh, but uh, Tarifa uses H15's um, caching, so it will store things locally on the phone. It, it can also access the HTML5 uh, location, so it appears within the browser, but it will work, give or take, like a normal app. Um, you don't get any of the fancy swiping don't need that to do the data collection. Um, but there are routers for this, I think, where you can take the web collection form and rock it down to a mobile version. How integrated that is with caching, I don't know. The best part of the game is that you can build also an advanced form for the condition between the fields. So what we should uh, do with the HTML is to implement the, um, the client management of this condition. Yes. There are applications out there. Lot, um, I researched that bit uh, about the OTK implementation and what they are trying to do to, to solve this problem because it's a, it's a quite um, used application that's in several projects. They are trying to work on that way using uh, the HTML file, but it needs a lot of time. Thank you. What about synchronization? Wouldn't it be interesting to have the ability to be offline and collect a bunch of data and then just sort of pass by some mobile office somewhere and connect to the Wi Fi and upload a bunch of data and yes. continue? What, what do you need to do is you need the uh, internet connectivity only to download the file uh, on the, the form on the mobile application. Then you can use that form offline. You save your edits, and when you go back in the office and you have the internet connectivity, you can send that to the information. But no, but that is the most important thing. So you don't really need connectivity at all in the field. No. Right? You can download it somewhere in the office and you go and you it back and back. So in the end, the Telecommunication isn't an issue at all. That is one of the most important requirements. Unless, of course, you want to access a live database and not just collect data, but actually interact with the database. That, yeah. that is another problem that, that we are, uh, because this application is not able to retrieve the data from the database. You just send the information. It's a one way um, solution for. Uh, 
if you have a two-way interaction, you could have one collector seeing what, other, what the other collectors are doing. They so they don't step on each other's toes and they don't duplicate efforts. So you can sort of see people in the field and figure out where you need to go next without having to have an elaborate plan in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. It's